Hello everyone, well, all of you, uh, not all of you, but some of you have been asking me to do more videos on how to use the Microsoft programs, such as, um, well, Microsoft Office, so PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. Um, I've already explained Excel, um, now I'm going to move on to PowerPoint, okay? Now, PowerPoint is a pretty simple to use program to make presentations, if you didn't know that. Um, and when you first open up PowerPoint on a Mac, this is only for a Mac, you see there's a whole bunch of templates. Okay, so you can choose whatever template you want. Okay, very simple. So I can just double click on whichever one I want. Okay, and then you come to this screen. Now let's go over the basics, okay? This top toolbar, you have a couple different tools, okay? Such as opening another file. This goes back to the template, so you can choose a new template, open another presentation, okay, or another file, save the presentation, print, you got the, the cut, copy, paste, um, then you got undo and redo, uh, show, the, show or hide the toolbox, show or hide the, hide the media browser, okay, then you got the, the zoom and the help button, okay. So that's your upper toolbar, then this toolbar is pretty self-explanatory, it shows you what's there. And then we'll go over this as we go on, this toolbar. So you see this right here, when it first pops up. Okay, now you can see there's a box, and it says click to add title. So I'm going to click. Oh, look at this, now I can type. Now as you can see, this toolbar becomes activated. If you're good with Word, and yeah, if you're good with Word, you understand how this works. Um... So you have your font size, your font, bold, slanted, underlined, okay, all your basic stuff like moving text to different spots of the page, okay, add pictures, text boxes, shapes, media, okay, all kinds of cool stuff. You can play a slideshow there. But anyway, so if you want to learn more about that, just watch my Word tutorial. So we're going to put example... Power, whoops, power point. Okay, and it says click that subtitle. Um, you don't necessarily have to, but I'll just put by MS123132. Okay, that's just, I use that as a lot of usernames. Um, not really, that was kind of a joke. Okay. So, then you see this. Okay, so we're done with this, so I don't want to work with this anymore. So, you see over here it says slides. Okay? It says layout section. We're not going to worry about those. Just look where it says new slide. You have the new slide button, and then you have the arrow. I prefer you hit the arrow, because then you have a whole selection of slides. Okay? So, title slide, title and content section, whatever. Comparison. So, I want... I don't know. Let's do comparison, okay? So let's say, um, nuclear, I cannot spell today, I'm sorry, nuclear and, um, hydro power. Okay, so then we have the nuclear hydro so we can put pros and cons okay so let's say or let's just put nuclear power less long I can I'm just so sorry I cannot spell okay and whatnot and you can go through that and now you see here you have a couple different options for what you can do instead of typing you have a, um, a chart okay, or a table if you want to say you have your graphing tool, okay, which also you can drag stuff from Excel and put it here. Um, that's going to be in my advanced Excel tutorial that I will be coming out with soon. Then you have the, um, <coughs> pardon me, the insert smart art graphics, okay. You have your picture insert, uh, movie, and I forgot what this one is. Oh, yeah, the clip art browser, okay. So you can do all that in one of these little squares. Now, just to go over how to use fonts, if you don't know how, if you go over here, this is font sizes, okay, change size the font, 
change the size of the font. I can't talk either. Then you can change the font. Okay, move it over. Okay, so that's pretty much the basics. And then, as you can see, if you go through here, you can find a couple different tools that you can play around with. Um, for instance, this is the charting area for when you're kind of using Excel and PowerPoint at the same time. You can use animations as well, which I want to go over this right now because this is pretty cool. When you start out here, you can have a um, uh, like in a like in a peer, so that when you actually present this, it kind of see how it kind of. It's animations. It just goes how you want it to, how you want the text to come in. Okay. Slideshow. You can do a couple different things with that. Present, review. You can rehearse, record the slideshow, whatnot. Okay. I don't really worry about that. Review. You can put passwords and put comments on stuff and whatnot. Then you have the smart art, which has little like picture graphs and whatnot. Okay. So. That's pretty much it for PowerPoint. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comment um, box below. Um, rate, subscribe, comment, whatever. Do your thing. Um, and please type any questions or whatever you need. Um, thank you, and have a good day, night, afternoon, morning, whatever. See ya.